Hey all this and all this and this is part four of the you know the this part four of the uh, quote unquote uh, no uh, you know the challenge you know the thing <laughs> the thing <laughs> okay so now we have Grand Falloon which you know wanna soul steal at which you wanna soul steal at which wanna soul steal but you wanna help by that? Ha ha, take that. Blarg, ya darling. Okay, maybe the regular now. Oh, he goes to town. He keeps you safe. Okay, so. What? Do we have enough MP? No, not uh, not yet. Almost. Uh, please. I'm on fire in my legs. We recovered that much MP in that amount of time there. We saw that we take a talk a long time from Kerberos to Grand Falloon. And that's just because I wanted to grind. Uh, now the thing is, right, like I don't know if you would argue that he's a spellcaster or not, you know. Grand Falloon probably not. Because otherwise you would allow to be using uh, using the uh, Mormagill here. This is the only reward from that uh, Mormagill. Uh, uh, right, so now we need uh, we need Lambda card. So the stone is very good, but the stone is like very spammable. That's really you know, what makes it good, really. Even though it's weak, it's just that you can spam it. Now we are clearly then that magic missile is like a spell casting thing, you know. And again, at some point, I will probably allow these because you know they're just one stronger than the you know, weapon I'm using. But it's just that they're medical, you know, and stuff like that. So circlet is worse, and and silver crown is slightly better. But yeah, you know. But yeah, the funny thing is, both of these capes are actually worse than the crystal cloak. So yeah, you know. Now, I don't know um, uh, when we're gonna allow the Ring of Arcanas, if there is like a requirement and stuff that, or if it's here, or if the requirement is just gonna be all oh, just get gravity boots. Now, of course, we need to probably go into all rocks uh, next. Or Karasuman. Although I think that Karasuman will actually be uh, uh, I mean we technically won't need to go to Clock Tower by the way. Because none of the enemies in Clock Tower would consider to be a spellcaster. Except maybe for Karasuman or Karasuman as well as yeah. So 
Let's teleport to where the castle is. Uh, castle keep. Because obviously right we can just fly in here. Boom. I don't think we need to say before a boss though. But then the question is right, like what would be allowed, what, what would you consider like, would you allow this? And yeah, I'm just gonna show you, would you allow the false one? But would you also allow the things that are like in the, the room above? Would we allow all the stuff in there? Because that would, I mean the only thing technically that would allow would be to the usage of the, the you know, the... Of course, Richter is a spellcaster. Obviously, right, so you might allow the stuff that's in the in the upper parts of the keep there of the defeating Richter, for example, if you go back. But yeah. So we need to do spell casting on this boss. Uh, I think we start off with a with the Okay. Uh, let's do this again. Ow. Yeah, because you can definitely, yeah, you can definitely tell it's a spell cast because of that. Not that move necessarily, but you know. Out. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, that's like I think it's coming a lot more better now. Um, now we might argue also this uh, that technically, depending on what what area you go to him from, you might say that all of these stuff are allowed here as well. You know, because oh, you shouldn't allow all the throwing weapons and only the stuff that you know. And that's, oh, then this should be allowed as well, this thing that's over here should be allowed as well if this is stronger, which I don't think it is. I don't think this is stronger than our current armor, the healing mail. It's not stronger than the ice mail, no, it is not. But I mean, that is nice if you're traveling a lot and if you've taken a lot of damage, basically you're just traveling to, to an area, you know, and stuff that, and just avoiding enemies. So again, right, it's very weird, right, that, that why is there an onk of life in the game and then, like, the amount of items that actually quote-unquote restores health beside the potion and beside the high potion is just, you know, and if it's that, oh, it's only affected the regular potion, then that seems, like, really weird. So it's like, oh, onk of life, oh, what does it affect oh, only the regular potion? Because the elixir all receives for food. Like, elixir is not, like... Restores 75% of HP, you know, and then like with the Onk of Life it restores food, you know, whatever, but yeah. Right, but I'm pretty certain that the Onk of Life is, or the, or the Combat Knife is stronger than the, the False Gun. Technically, yes, slightly stronger. You can take pretty quick with it, but False Gun has pretty good range. You have definitely more range with it and it is fairly quick to use, so we're gonna use the Falcion over the combat knife at this point, but yeah. Now what is our familiar at? Our familiar is at level 8 now, and we're very close to level 9. Um, now you might of course also say that, oh, oh, that this, because this room is basically two rooms away, whatever, right, because this is the... Like, if we don't count the loading zone, by the way, if we don't count the loading zone, this is one, two, this is three rooms away, but then if we, if we go into this room and this is the first room, then this will be the second room, and the room up there will be the third room. So that would mean that everything that's in here should be allowed, and that would mean that the thing that's up where it is should not be allowed. 
But that would mean that the fire mail over here should be allowed as well. Right. And maybe it would only be too right if we didn't get it as a drop from the from the five pieces of that. Birdie nom nom. Oh, that was all of them. Right, then this is power mail, and this is the. This should be the fire mail. So this is fire mail. No. Wow, it's fire mail is weaker than ice mail. Huh. I did not expect that. I mean, it's just good, right? Because you know, if if an enemy is using ice, we allow it. That's just that because yeah. But I would make it so that we would have to, we would have to kill, uh, we would have to quote unquote defeat Richter before we can get the stuff that's up where Richter is. Except most of them are used for like, healing items now, and stuff that, except there is of course the plasma mail as well. Yeah. Oh no! Not also, because also before Richter, I won't count those as being part of like what Richter gives you instead of to be the stuff that's in Castle 2, because he's the boss. And then you go into the castle to win and okay, like now you're allowed to use the castle to stuff. That definitely makes more sense. But that makes more sense, right? That that is the castle to stuff that is the reward. Meaning you can use the reward if you want to use the bastard sword. Also that. And the bastard sword is a very big deal then. Uh alright. And we go and do this first. Yeah, we go and do all locks first. Now Orlocks, of course, we can equip Fire Mail to deal with the Orlocks that can form each other. Stuff like that. Right, we need to go and defeat Orlocks first before we check what all the treasure, treasures are and stuff like that, where he is. Stuff like that, because yeah. I'm gonna say all the stocks should be allowed. And stuff that uh, as one of the rewards and stuff that because yeah because the things that the only thing that is after him uh, after quote unquote all the rocks is just the whole you know the, the echo bat and stuff that so you know. and technically why we could just have like power miss and do it by the way and not do this you know it's you know so yeah but I'm only gonna go and say first. I mean, I don't think that there is a risk that we die, but it's just nice to save. And as you can see, yes, it's a lot about just casting soul steel and casting the the tetra spirit. It's most of what the combat boils bo down to. Uh, we are a ton of 35 MP now, which is pretty good though. Because the fact that it costs max 50, 50 MP or whatever, but yeah. Now, I don't know technically if what levels you are up with that effect certain stat goes right. Imagine right if you always kill an enemy with a spell if that always gives you more MP or if it's quote unquote gives you intelligence. Hello, Mr. Rocks. Uh, Hello, Mr. Rocks. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do, Mr. Rocks? I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna just try and do the uh, thing here. Okay, that's nice, Mr. Rocks. Um, ow! Rocks, please stop doing that, please. Please go and get all rocks. Ah, attack! I'm gonna have to probably do a little bit of the hair. Um, I'm trying to do the input. Now I'm trying to do the fireball input and then I don't get it. This is 
thing in her song. I said, what could I say? Oh! Main problem is we keep getting hit by that attack. Uh, right, and we need to heal. Not with the elixir though. Potion. Potos, maybe? Yeah, actually, let's switch back to the combat knife. The combat knife is probably gonna be better for this. There we go. Now we're set on the fire mail. Quite a bit. Okay, it's a tough bit to get him. <laughs> and the fact that he's a magic user means that he doesn't take that much damage from magic. Uh, Now we're automatically for a while, uh, so now we just bounce it. Bounce rock, go bounce, bounce rock. He's weak now. Might have to finish him with bounce, bounce rock. I will try and use, of course, magic once we have enough again. Uh, that should be enough for our Tetra Spirit. Turbo Machine Gun! <laughs> okay, please don't tell me that he does it until he dies. Please, I'm trying to do it. Go after him. Good games, dude. That was rough. Yeah, I forgot that he actually has very, very good magic defense and stuff that, you know, so yeah, that was... That was a bit rough, but I was like, you can't say that that was not like a lot of spell casting. That was definitely a lot of spell casting and stuff like that. That was a bit crazy. You see, the Ricochet Stone is not very good against certain enemies and stuff like that, just because it is a pretty, pretty weak sub weapon and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, you see, this would have been the only reward, otherwise they go bad, and that would have made no sense that, okay, what's your reward for defeating all looks of the echo bad? Right, and then it's uh, echo bat, and this is gonna be the whole force of echo, which is not until the second cast, and then that's the gas cloud. And then I forgot the second one it was. Uh, Technically, you can get two familiars from this, uh, so that uh, so that's how you get basically a fair familiar. Because the thing that we can get here now is gonna be there's gonna be two things that we can get. Uh... Now the thing is with the whole tier of you know like like the spell casting things that I call it right. The way that I see the 
the uh, quote-unquote working is that, oh, once you get to the next tier, you have to use that as your spellcasting quote-unquote item or whatever, right? But then once we reach a certain power level, the quote quote-unquote can use most of the sub-weapons. Well, not, not all of them, but the ones that are considered to be spell stuff. Oh, so the sword is now allowed. Uh, I think the sword is going to be the best. But then the sword doesn't talk to you yet. I don't think. I thought that sword would say something when he first joins you or whatever, right? Because, yeah. Uh, anyway. used to think that this also had something to do with the castle by the way because that clearly looks like that is supposed to be like a like a lion as well that thing you know and so that but there's a lot of things that I wonder like was this ever planned to be anything right was there meant to be a like a hidden path below here you know and stuff that you know and by the way we are preloaded Tomb Raider today I'm pretty sure that it won't be playable yet, right? But it would be nice if it was at least part of like a demo that it quote unquote gave you some sort of demo for pre-ordering it sometimes, you know? And I know that you might say that that's just stupid to have like, like a pre-order black like demo and stuff like that, but imagine, right, if they made it so that you would get a demo normally, but then you had like better demos if you quote unquote pre-order a game. You know, stuff that like longer demos or more quote unquote exclusive demos, maybe you got access to certain areas, you know? Because that would mean like pre-ordering, you know, would be like you would be more likely to pre-order, you know, so that so, so that's fair. It would also be allowed, by the way. Uh, but yeah, we wanna unlock this shortcut now, by the way. And now we want to. Uh, Right, and now we can use the we can use the library card again. And now we need Gombit Suckers. Uh, which is gonna be a bit annoying to be honest. Uh, I don't think. There it's just. I thought about allowing there to use one of their like elemental swords or whatever, but yeah. Now I don't know if we're just gonna do two today as well, you know, but that. Oh, now Rapier finally dropped. But I think it was Rapier is weaker, yeah, it is. It is 30 on the Rapier and it's uh, 33 on the Falcon. But technically, because it has a uh, long, because technically it has a, quote unquote, it has a stronger special. The special of it is stronger, basically. The special actually multi hits. So I the way band special is better. <laughs> yeah, that's the good thing about the sword that even when the sword is new, he still like tries. And sometimes it's it's like sometimes okay, he slashes all over the place. But sometimes he just hits, you know, he can hit stuff randomly if you cut cut move around. So yeah. But you realize how annoying it is going to be during a summoner run, like because in the beginning, yes, we're going to be super reliant on use, you know. We are gonna be super reliant on the whole, whole you know, monster vials. And then the only way to quote unquote farm more, more monster vials is gonna be with, with the familiars and stuff like that. And then it feels like, okay, like we need to quote unquote get the right familiar and stuff like that. Now there are also quote unquote 
straps that you can use. There are things that I quote unquote would allow and stuff like that, you know. There are things. Because right, because keep in mind, like every block the levels as you gain more, you know, they get stronger and stuff like that. But yeah. Again, this would be important if we if we got this from the things here. Yeah, we kind of need to wait for her to cast, and then we do the thing. And every step we're gonna screw up though and stuff like that because we have the, the bat. Now because yes there are you know like the main tough thing is gonna be like the bosses and stuff like that and I think we'll be in there but the people think that oh you're gonna spell a cast against everything in the second castle. Yes we would. Uh, but then we would have to get, we would have to make it order to get certain things. Keep in mind that I'm pretty certain that the, that the bone arc, by the way, I believe can drop the... The bone arc can drop the uh, spellcaster, or he can drop the skeleton shield. Or the skull, skull shield, actually, specifically. Right, and that's the only way to kill the stamps, by the way. Uh, they don't walk for now, at least. Uh, okay. But I believe all of those things are a part of the right let's allow this now. And I say that all this doesn't look like a magic thing, but you know, like... Because... There is some that say that this is actually medical ashes, that this is actually the ashes that you quote unquote quote. Or you could say that this is uh, when the Italian is cooking. I can love how this effect actually looks in the darkness. Now, uh, it is a bit sad, like, why is this only used at this point? You know, so the, imagine that a section like this, like a different section, right? If, if Castle 2 wouldn't have been like this, just upside down and stuff that. Imagine if they would have made actually dark combat rooms later on once you have like the black like, once you have like the uh, the force of echo and stuff like that. Although force of echo is really dark, but, but imagine that that section, the mines section, on the way down to the or on the way up to the floating catacombs. Imagine if that would have been really dark and have that music and stuff like that, and then it would be a like, complete darkness and there would be spikes on like the walls and stuff like that. You know, and then you would have to navigate to and also deal damage with the force of echo. You know against the bats, so the bats don't knock you into the spikes or whatever. You might say, oh, but a lot of people will get frustrated at, at that, you know, whatever, you know, because, you know... And again, right, I have heard the argument today from him saying that they play castles as well, you know, so that's why. so good, just because the fact that it is ridiculously fast. And I would say that this is actually better than the whole big dagger a lot of times and all so that's uh... and This is of course the spike breaker, uh, which we are going to allow ourselves to equip uh, eventually, uh, not, not right now. I might say, oh, but it's a grand saloon reward. Uh, which could be true because of that if you have a word spell cast, which you know. I kind of want to read about a certain enemy. Young Master Anaconda. How about this? Uh, wait a minute to check here. I need to very specific check. I didn't just say fire breathing on that one. 
Yeah, because if Slog and Gabon would be quote unquote allowed, by the way, if, if one of them counts as a spellcaster, then the thing that were at the top of the room would be allowed. But I don't think, or I think that that was only the path familiar. Uh, but then this was a spellcast, obviously. Uh, and then the doppelganger was the spellcaster as well. Uh, and Skiller was a spellcaster, of course. The doppelganger time was a spellcaster. Uh, spellbook is a spellcaster, of course, obviously. Uh, you could argue that these bomb pillars would also be spellcasts then. Yeah, Ice Wheeling Female Spirit as a spellcaster, Frost and Shade. Uh, Skill is a spellcaster. Uh, Part of line, and this was of course obviously a spellcaster as well. Because it's used as fire and all of those things to give it extra fire. If it's like pot dragon or something like that, you know, that would be different. I might say that it's a spellcaster because of that specific thing, that it's like toast fire or whatever, right? Because, you know... Right, and this you could say also, but, but yeah, but these are different spellcasters, Salem Witch, uh... Fishnet Guardian, again, these were spellcasters as well, I feel like, because they actually saw spells, and the fact that they're also immune to fire and stuff like that. Or Song vs. Fire, rather. Short magic feeling demons on the stomach ally, so later on in Kessa 2, yes, if it drops obsidian sword, we will be allowed to use it and stuff like that, yeah. Demon Lord of Ravens. So, yes, so we could technically grind Ring of the Annals from this in Castle 2. Uh, but yeah, uh, Tunnel Wielding Demon Conversation from my own, it's light email and fire mail that he can drop. Problems of that, yeah. And Kerberos, of course, was a spellcaster as well. Uh, Winner's Blade is definitely a spellcaster. Uh, Orox is a spellcaster. Magic Willing Vampire rules up a part of the castle. Master Fishhead. Which sounds weird, right? Because Master Fishhead would mean that he's related to the other Black the Fish pillar things. Which seems like really weird. Nightmare is a creature composed of many. Stone vs. Dark, Weak vs. Holy. And yeah, and the Saint is uh, quite expensive, hot wise if I remember correctly, because yeah. Um, now again, as I said, there was at one point when I thought about all oh, Holy Rod to be allowed because of the fact that the Lesser Demon is a spellcaster and stuff that, that that was something we thought about as well, so yeah. Now the only thing that's left now is to get, is, is to get the gold and the silver ring and stuff that, uh, which is gonna be nice. Uh, I'm gonna pick up more gold though. Now maybe we, this, the way we do it is that oh, Fire Brand, Ice Brand and Thunder Brand are allowed once you get over a certain amount of cash and stuff like that, because that could be something else of that, you know. Because you might say, oh, but those swords are still weak when you get them and uh, stuff like that compared to whatever you will have. And that is true, but then there are things that are weak. Fire, for example, if you have Fire Brand, then like more than two becomes easier and stuff like that, so you know. Yes, and Maria, of course, is a spellcaster as well, so we will allow uh, we will allow the use uh, we will allow the usage of the uh, of the holy glasses. Although I think that holy glasses will be weaker than the circlet that we currently are, have equipped. And what is his level now? His level is level three only. I thought about you sticking with, if we would have sticked with the demon, that, that probably would have been better, maybe. What am I going down here? We need to go to the teleporter. Yes, we need to go on Bitsucker Burst, and of course, 
So we can both technically does have her ball her wards, and I would count I me, mean, I would count the claymore as being a succubus of ward basically. Like all those things. So the moonstone would count as well. As being her ward. And the closest right to be cast keep right is the closest. But you could also go through the other way. You could go through the but, but flying down up pole rocks is pretty pretty slow. Keep in mind that we haven't gotten the gravity boots in this run. And stuff that we need to keep getting that. But I feel like that is saves up the time. Like if you're gonna get gravity boots then you get it when you have gold and silver ring. I forgot what the name this this thing had or whatever, you know. And it's the way that that thing can decide to go down into this room, basically. That it can come from out of bounds. Meow meow meow, cat says meow. Hey, yeah. Right, and this is where it will be normally. And I think this is where the book is, yes. Yeah, the combat knife is so ridiculously fast, which is actually very, very good. Even though its damage is pretty low. And uh, now we... We use slap on the spike picture. What? This is how you do it, right? Uh, now I forgot if that's how you... But this is not left, right? And then do that input and then do this. Ah. It's hold out. Hold up two seconds and then you screw it. Nah. We did a quick bit right. Yes, we did a couple of spark right. I forgot what the input is for, for the... What the input is for the... I forgot what the input is for it. Alucard, have you seen Richter? There is a Belmont here. You are right about that. I knew it! Where is he? The one I saw was with the enemy. He called himself the Lord of this castle. What? Th that's impossible! You're wrong! I have to go! But it sounds like they record it not like in a recording studio really that it seems like sometimes it's like it, almost like there's an echo to what they're saying, you know, and stuff like that. And that might make sense for the like location or whatever, right? And you know, like, you know. Uh, right, and now we just need to go to down to. We're still collecting hearts, of course, because obviously the hearts are going to be important. Uh... Game? Wait, no, nah, 105 is not the maximum. He's trying, he's trying, man. Not easy being a sword. Like I'm wanting to slash stuff all the time. <laughs> but it's interesting how it's only the sword familiar that gives you a sword and stuff that. But imagine it if every single family had like a second version of them, you know, and stuff that. No, but yeah. 
Ja, det vore bli kul att det är G&G i Vänner of the Färgstack Actual-spel så som den har tätat Oh, when you cast spell, you cast spells Or whatever, you know Because I mean, technically right, like familiars continued on existing after this, right? And in certain of the games they made it so that the familiars instead were technically like summons Whatever it be, like summons that were kind of like active crashes Stuff like that because after this, right, after, after Symphony of the Night, right, except uh, not counting like the three Castlevanias, right, they did the, they did the quote unquote, the direct sequel to this is technically the, the what do you call it? Uh, I mean, technically not a sequel to this, they made Circle of the Moon first on the Game Boy Advance, or was it on the Game Boy Color even? Nah, it was on the Game Boy Advance, I'm pretty certain. And then they did the Homage of Dissonance, uh, and then after Harmony of Dissonance, of course, they made Ariosaur, and then after that, they made Domasaur, and then they made the Portrait of Rune, and then they made the Order of the Ecclesia. And the fact that there still hasn't been a, a DS collection with the DS Vanias is black weird. They did one with the Advanced Ones collection. But if they do a DS collection, I would definitely get it on the PlayStation rather than getting it on the quote unquote on the. Because I've been, I really, really wanted to to have recorded, you know, the stuff. Let's go back to Ice Mail. But yeah, but I really, really wanted to go uh, to go back to, you know, or to record that, you know. What is closest? Um, Going up is not closer, right? It looks like it's very very similar to like how far away it is because yeah and I almost felt that caverns should quote unquote have had a teleporter somewhere as well Because the caverns are just very very big and stuff that I would definitely put a teleporter and stuff like that you might say, oh, where the room, because where the room goes down here, right, and it goes down here in the clock room and stuff like that, and there's a room here. There's not a space there in, in the cave section somewhere to have had like a teleporter or whatever, right, and maybe it would have been used to like above here somewhere, you know, and stuff like that, or maybe a link here, there, that's maybe where the teleporter room would have been, you know, stuff like that, just, you know. Because if it's weird in that section of the castle, like if you see where the teleporters are, like all the yellow ones, right, and stuff like that, like we only see where they are, they're all like in certain points when it just makes sense to, okay, like why is there no teleport in this section, right? You know, because most of the teleporters are really close, like look at how the, how, how, how the one in the castle keep, the one in castle keep, the one here in Oroch's quarters, and the one in the, in the, quote unquote, in the, uh, what I call it, the, the outer world, also very, very close. Uh, and then you would figure out, okay, there would be three more. There would be three more teleporters that would have to be close. Like the, the horse one and the uh, snake one is very close. But then there feels like there should have been another one. There should have been a, another one. So it's one, two, three, four, five teleporters. But it feels like this should have been six teleporters. Right? But am I missing a teleporter? No, we aren't, right? We did pick up all the teleports because that would have felt stupid if I could have got avoided one. Nah. We have gotten all the teleporters. But it just feels like the way like that after how there's oh there's the three teleporters they close to each other and then there's two teleporters that the horse is close to the snake. And then there's no more teleporters. And then it's just like, huh? Right, because when you look at it at the map that way, it's real like this way, like, like there were meant to be six teleporters, but they didn't make it. Whatever, right, that there should have been one in the caverns area, probably. Or maybe the for uh, forbidden route. Now that would have been too close. But yeah. Or maybe there were plans to be one below the clock room where the court and court where the thing was. You know. Wait, oh right, we did pick up the same ring, oh man. <laughs> I was almost scared that I... Because I'm pretty certain that I've seen someone... I think it was... Was it a randomizer runner? I think in one of the tournaments, right? We went to someone that... They went there, they put on the spike back and everything. They went there, you know, they didn't do the trick or whatever because it wasn't allowed or whatever, right? 
But they went over there, they checked it, or they, or they basically went there, and then they had like the whole dialogue and everything, and then you know like, and then they used, you know, they didn't pick up the stuff, right, and I don't remember if it was actual silver ring or whatever, but yeah, but you know. Because they go there having to talk with Maria and then being like, oh yeah, Maria gave me the item, you know, or whatever, and then being like, oh shit, man. Yeah, I'm gonna is an action in it. Come on, Oh, right, nice. So now that means that, uh, because yes, we get to fight Maria, of course, uh, we don't have any holy resistance because I didn't go to the place where the holy resistance thing is. So we don't have holy resist. Yes, right, we don't have holy resist. Nope, we don't. Um, I'm gonna say it now, though I don't think we can defeat her with spell casting. Especially since we don't have holy resist and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do, be able to do Maria with spell casting just because she helps you with spells, or she does attacks very often. Uh, like, Dolph still might be manageable to get off and stuff like that, but yeah, but um, what, what's so really clever now? He's still fine, okay, so, you know. And it's great to write how this is not very far down. Well, this is. I can show you the other way how to get here. You do this thing. I think you stand in here and you do that. And then you can get over. You only need wolf so You don't need flight to get over there. Right, and I'm not allowed to smash any of these yet because all of these would be the robots from defeating. Um, Succubus. Say first. And then both of these will be silver and gold ring, of course. And I think right that we figure out right like that it's better to like upload only two per day. You know, instead of that they then they never feel nicer, you know, when I would be I would spare my voice a lot more. <laughs> Going to the nightmare. I forgot how the nightmare was with this voice acting. Mother! Alucard, is that you? I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Stay away! Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. No! I won't let this happen! It's too late. Just stay with me. Hear my last words to you. Yes, mother. Humans, you cannot live with them. You cannot live with them and then he realizes that it's fake. Haha, <laughs> you you try to be pancake. Come on, so sleep. Oh, it did a petal attack, it did a curse attack. Oh, you can see spell cast. But except that was the sucky spell. Soul steals. I thought he said soul steals there. Okay, we can out of MP. So I'm just, uh, I'm just throwing my holy dust. Uh. Set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait! 
Oh, okay, he doesn't do that. Oh, yeah. All right, he doesn't do that thing, but I skipped it, I think. Wait, no! And then he comes once he dies, of course, because that's how Saki was just died. He come. When he... Here I come, here I come, here I come. No! Yeah. Fucking lock this. So kabusi. And then there was like, he kicked off like, the developer was like, a, hmm, I remember that one time in that fun hotel. Again, Moonstone, of course. It's a great reward because, wow, well, that's, whoa, well, that's that much of a damage increase. Yeah, because it's it increases your attack and it increases your strength as well, so yeah. Uh, Moonstone, uh, meal ticket, meal ticket. Get the hand, get the right, get the then we get the Claymore, which I'm pretty certain will be stronger than the Combat Knife. Of course, the Claymore is slower, but the Claymore is also beneficial, as I said, as you gain more levels, it is more beneficial. Um, the Claymore, I think the Claymore will be stronger at this point. Uh, yes, the Claymore is just slightly stronger. Not that super strong yet, but still, you know, still useful. And again, this is also something that makes it very cool, right? Because, because it's either gonna have to be in the second castle that we're gonna have to grind certain things, but yeah. Alright, then we have no easy way up. Um, I don't know what we do have. But I think we're gonna need to use the combat knife though for the Maria fight uh, and stuff that we have. Because we did not pick up the stuff at the castle, uh, you know, and stuff that, so we did not pick up, pick up that. That means also we have less healing portions. We could actually let her heal us. The familiar. Uh, let's use the fairy actually. She didn't say anything. Now, of course, we will need to do the Maria boss fight. Uh, It's gonna be interesting to see how it works now because he's probably gonna tell us what, what elements Maria used, but we don't have all of the other resistant potions. We have, uh, we have. Uh, can we medicine first? Yes, let's put medicines first. So we have resist sound, we have resist eyes. So those are the two resistances we have. Uh, and then we have the attack potion, we have the strength potion, we have the shield potion. So you can of course life up for me if we also have resist fire and luck potion there, but yeah. Doing it that way is actually pretty good, but yeah, uh, food counts as well also, right? Yeah, medicine, food, and then throw one, throw two, so yeah. So you can do that as well, and then you can have a bunch of like the food items first, and stuff like that, so. So it's like kind of, but you can always make sure that those are first. Because that can be a good idea to do. Because I'm pretty certain though the, the way right that, that they don't uh, they want to like waste like the heal potion because if I remember correctly like a hit needs to be big enough on Alucard that if he notices that oh Alucard used to uh, oh Alucard used to like 50 damage from like a physical hit and it dependent on your max health as well I believe it is. So even if I hit like, if 271 is the maximum and I'm not taking 20 damage from my hit, that won't be enough to trigger the shield potion, I don't think. But then keep in mind that if you stand in a place, then he will just jump and try and get into location. But he can quote unquote get stuck at times. But the funny thing is, if the status was open there, if I would have opened it with a cloak, then that would have been interesting. Stone and uh, 
Okay, so I think that we can do the Maria and Camp in those uh, five, five minutes. Right. Yeah. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that we can at least. Well, I think that it's basically gonna be a second cast next time, and like the Richter fight or whatever, right? Because we're probably not gonna be doing the Richter fight now. So, max health first, though, and hot max up. I might say, oh, we just go and get holy mail, for example, but then the thing is, like, okay, like, holy mail. The main problem is that holy mail doesn't talk from an enemy and stuff like that, and, you know. Alucard? That voice. Maria? I'm sorry. You. Peekaboo up here! We can completely own her with the knife, by the way, combat knife. Uh, I thought the ship was gonna use something. Oh, that's nice. And oh, I wonder if I did absolutely nothing here. Well, fairy did absolutely nothing. I'm still gonna have the fairy though for the Richter stuff. Okay, so it's considerably weaker than the holy glasses, but the holy glasses at least gives you some defense. Most of that, but the other was circuit is considerably stronger. Seize beyond magical curses. And I always thought that they should have done something else also with the whole holy, with their quote unquote holy glasses, that they should have made it, that more things would be visible with it or something like that. Um, oh. But does that mean that you had holy glasses all the time, pretty much? Or whatever? Uh, and let's go to, uh, uh, is there any close, uh, we can probably go up here and then it would be open in that time. Because the only thing we go, we go to the castle cape and get to teleporter, is what we will be doing. So pose and hammer life battle. If you're really bad, you can just use the fairy and stuff like that. Like, you can keep yourself safe with the fairy, like a lot of beginners use the fairy and all stuff like that. Yeah. Let's give the protocols. You can say that these are the rewards for technique for defeating Maria and stuff like that, you know. Okay, it hasn't opened yet. Okay, there we go, good. Yeah, we will probably just barely make it uh, if we hurry. I really do barely make it to the fake, I think. Now I know that we can do the Richter though with the, with the whole spell casting thing, but yeah. The thing is, I'm worried though, if I do the spell inputs wrong, then I'm gonna take so much damage because if I get hit by the first part of the cross spell, then I get hit by all of it, I cannot like miss out of it because you get stunned by it and you take so much damage. Unless we get the whole resist stuff, you know, so yeah. I'll call it hot cat. Oh shit, what smells forward? <laughs> I'll call it hot cat like a bird with a real fat cat. Why did you talk about fort of all of a sudden? Did you fart? You know, sometimes you just have to talk about things, you know, like that's on uh, Alucard's mind, he's like, he's going to the castle and it just fucking smells. Because fucking Richter ate fucking bean paste. <laughs> like, I love this chili bowl with beans, like, damn it, Richter. <laughs> oh man, we're not gonna make it to the same time, yeah. I'm not making it to the same time, but anyway, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time.